show you some real world lawn service. These, well, we here in Tennessee, we call them poppy tops. This is a bi-weekly yard. We've been getting hammered with rain. As you can see, the mower looks horrible, covered in wet grass. But you talk about having a lawn service, you talk about trying to mow for a living. Yards on the side. Mowing in a rain suit today, and maybe not any any let up until the weekend, if even then. So, you let this go any farther, you're gonna have to bring a bush hog out and just get you some bales of hay off of it. But again, that mower was bought for this reason. It cuts amazing in dry grass. It cuts amazing in wet grass. Now, the issue I always had before was mowing wet grass, it would cow patty. It just get under the mower, mower, build up, build up, build up, blob, build up, build up, build up, blob. This was cut today, of course, same property, but there's no cow patties anywhere. All this stuff's just burn up spots, but no cow patties anywhere. Yeah, I have to cut the blades off cut the PTO off and let the deck clean out like in the woods somewhere because it just builds up but it doesn't build up build up blah as you can see over here God, look at that that might or what job that come over here and it's not the most precise crisp cut you're going to get just because of the poppy tops it's two weeks yada yada but I mean, look at the difference it's been cut this this has been cut what i just showed you over there has been cut it's been raining on me all morning rain four days straight and that mower is still a beast that mower is doing exactly what i bought it for so i just wanted to show you guys real-time mowing real uh, real life lawn service you got a job you go to work every day you get off and it's 80 90 degrees you go cut dry grass and you go man i could do this all day well you wake up at seven eight in the morning wet dew grass in the summertime two week top two week uh growth on poppy tops and grass this is an old field, it used to be a field, just got a house in it, so it's naturally fertilized over the years. This is what you get. But uh, just want to let you know how much that mower has made a big difference in my business this year and how awesome it is. Because I would have been I would have been out here forever trying to cut to get a decent cut had it not been for that mower. So just want to let you guys know I'm in East Tennessee, Southeast Tennessee, whatever you want to call it, and uh, we're getting hammered with rain. I think that's a hurricane or tropical storm come up. We're getting all the wind and rain off of it. Out mowing today in a wetsuit, a rain suit, and uh, not a wetsuit, I ain't scuba diving. But out mowing in a rain suit today and just getting it done, just part of the business. But just wanted to show you what this thing does in wet grass. It does great and dry, but uh, it does amazing and wet. Just trying to show you a real life lawn service. See you guys. That's another thing in the lawn service. We're always going to have those cushions that say cut it short, cut it short, cut it short. Scout, put the deck on the ground. Can you cut it shorter this time? Cut it shorter. Well, listen. Cutting it shorter does not make it grow less quickly. Actually, it just gives more room for the weeds and it grows quicker. This was cut on two and three quarters, which is against my better judgment because I don't like to go below three. But 
look at the wind blow those tops. This was two weeks ago. Cutting it shorter does not make it grow slower. Another true testament to the mower Snapper Pro S200XT Briggs motor. This yard every year it is a double cut after April because there is a drain that runs all the way through here up from the mountain and everything runs down so it stays soaking wet. It's been a double cut for me for four years and here it is almost the end of May. It is the end of May, 1st of June. It's been raining for four days. Rained this morning off and on. And look, crisp and clean. No double cut. I love this mower.